if there's really one thing that I can inspire you guys to do for yourselves this week, it's, it's really just eating better. <laughs> eating better and learning about what you are putting into your body. All of the processed foods is not food. It's not food. It is 7 a.m. on Saturday. The sun is not even up yet, but we're gonna go to the gym. Yeah, we're gonna go to the gym. We're gonna do a little sweaty Saturday. We're gonna clean our car today. Like, I'm not coming home until my car is clean, period. Um, because I feel like I've been saying this forever and I still have not gone, guys. I still have not gone. And it's just been making me feel really icky and like disgusting and down. <laughs> we're gonna go get our car clean. Okay, so I just cleared my car of all of the trash. It was like water bottles um, and papers and stuff, so it wasn't a lot of trash, but we are on my car hood. I just wanted it to be a tad bit clean before to get to the cleaners. I'm unsure if they're open today, but we're gonna find out because I really need this to happen. I'm just eating my breakfast, chilling, and I just wanted to stop by and say hi. I was meaning to vlog since Thursday, and yesterday I picked up the camera as well, and I just couldn't get myself to. I don't know what was... I don't know, because like yesterday, the entire day was just a work day. Yeah, so all I've been doing really is my regular daily routine, and I've been going to coffee shops just to like ease into this new depressing winter i'm not gonna say depressing i'm gonna take that back but like this new time change it getting dark at 4 p.m um so yeah i've just been going to coffee shops and stuff and so that's just been making me feel better about it getting dark so early because you guys the moment it hits four o'clock like i want to go to bed the reason why my goal this morning was to get to the gym early is because i love 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 the feeling of getting there early before anyone else while it's dark like that's really what winter i don't know it just makes me feel good in the winter time like i'm getting my day started early i'm getting my work done early like i love that because it gets dark early i just can't keep my work going after four o'clock like i'm like okay we need to wrap this up i can't keep up with the time and so if i can start my day earlier i'm going to be more productive i'm going to use as much sunlight as i can and so that's just kind of how we're doing so far and it is my first winter where i'm not traveling so i'm going to really have to cope this winter i don't want to you know get that bad seasonal depression like i used to i have been reflecting on myself and i'm like Badger, we need a hobby that allows us to move um and get out the house because i feel like if i don't need to i'm not gonna leave the house you know what i mean um and that's why i've kind of been pushing myself to go out to coffee shops to do my work just to have that like switch up but it's like gym home 
gym home you feel me and so i'm like okay let me just pick up a hobby some sort of class something i can do to like get myself out of the house but then i also wanted it to be something that you know had movement because i can't go on hot girl walks it's too cold for that it's like 20 degrees this week and so i just need something other than the gym that's gonna give me a little bit of movement i'm sitting on my butt all day i'm on my laptop on my computer all day i had ice skates and they've just been sitting in my closet for about two years now and every winter i'm like okay this is gonna be the winter i take a lesson or two but i really think this is gonna be the time but yeah we're just trying to dodge seasonal depression here i can't go through that little fit check i'm not wearing a hijab yet but pants could use a little iron love these jeans also this is how we're keeping it together because i don't believe in belts and your girl lost a few lbs so the pants is kind of loose you feel me <laughs> oh also yesterday i finally got my pyrido perfume in the mail so here is the scent of the day. I already put it on when I showered, so yay. I wouldn't say this is a cute outfit. I feel like this is just like default setting. It's cozy. It's cold outside. I don't want to try. I'm comfortable. I feel good in a baggy outfit. Um, yeah, could the pants use a little bit of ironing? Yes, but I feel like it's a statement. <laughs> a statement saying that Bedja is too lazy to iron her pants today, but we don't really know what we're doing. We don't really know where we're going. I have a few things that I genuinely need to get done. And so we're going to start with those and then we'll see where the day takes us. Are you recording me? No. Stop being weird. I'm not recording you, girl. <laughs> This one I like, gentle? No, we need the double one. Good morning. Happy Saturday. I mean, Sunday. I turned off the lights because the sun is rising 
and I just want it to do its thing. I don't know. But I'm sitting in front of my big old computer. I just have a few things to get done before I start like my Sunday reset work. I have a lot to do, I will not lie. Um, but it's not necessarily like I feel like when I say, oh, I have so much to do, like there's so much to do. It's not that I'm working on a Sunday or on a Saturday on things that I hate. Like I genuinely am doing something that I'm extremely passionate about that I'm like really happy to sit down and do in the morning. Some of the work is a little tedious. There's some parts of it that I don't enjoy doing, but like usually it's like things that I enjoy doing. So I just have my matcha and I'm working on currently the rewriting your story course. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm just so excited to, to like put it out. Like you guys have no idea it's so good and i feel like that's all i can say because i'm gonna get to work i'm gonna do this and then we're gonna chit chat in a bit you guys the fact that i have my heating pad with me at my desk because it's extremely cold i'm gonna go and eat some breakfast i just did a entire section i still have to like edit it oh my goodness you guys i swear to god if you guys have the chance to get this course and buy this course it's gonna change your life. There is nothing that makes me more happy. There's nothing that makes me feel more just amazing. You guys, like, I don't think you guys understand how much I light up inside when I'm able to put out what I know. It makes me so happy. And so, yeah, I've just been really proud of that. And I'm really excited for this course to be finished and out. It's so good. Ah! Like, I promise you guys, this is everything that I wish I had. And of course, like, I think everything that i know is extremely complicated and that's why i have a hard time putting it out is because i'm like okay how do i say this what order do i say this in is this is not going to make sense if this doesn't make sense and so it being everything that i wish i knew i wish i had like that's the only thing that keeps me going before i go on a tangent which i feel like i kind of did let's get to cleaning because that is the next thing oh i'm gonna have breakfast but once I have breakfast, we're gonna get to cleaning and then I have to do my clean up my makeup brushes because I'm going out tonight with my auntie and my brother. Goal for today, I still have to go grocery shopping so I really need to get to it. You guys see how I'm just talking? I don't wanna get up and clean. That's the real truth. <laughs> I'm gonna start with the easiest because that's not how my brain works. You guys know how it's like, oh, just knock off the hardest thing. My brain is like, um, if I do the small thing, then I'll have motivation to do the bigger thing. done in the hood literally is right now so we killed it let's go grocery shopping here is my little grocery shopping fit she is not that cute pants is not ironed once again you guys me and the iron i just don't have it in me but we have on this little jacket it's so flipping cute like this is actually from abercrombie the men's section i've been in my pistachio era yeah. I have been loving pistachio so many well okay I fell in love with pistachios when I went to Istanbul Turkey and I just never buy them so
Oh, I forgot to turn off the candles, but it smells so nice in here. Wow, wow, this one smells amazing. Oh, it's so good. It is, let me just show you guys. Tree Farm, so good. getting ready for the gym but i'm waiting for this to kick in okay so i've been in my lemon water era but i decided to add matcha to my drink this morning because it really just clears out the stomach like clears out the stomach you feel me and last night i went out to eat and so i feel really just like congested <laughs> i feel congested and so i'm waiting for this to kick in which this might be tmi but like it's really helpful you guys if you guys feel like i don't know i just like having like a clean palette in the morning and if i have like something heavy the night before i like to have matcha in the morning anyway we're gonna go to the gym today it is still dark outside which i love i think something that really helps me with like this the winter uh depression the seasonal depression the winter change is really just getting up and going to the gym while it's still dark outside because that makes me feel so good and it makes me really happy i don't know how to explain it to you guys but it's something that just really brings me joy and peace and so we're gonna get ready we're gonna hit the gym we're gonna get crunk i've been really shy with filming in the gym again i don't know why it's gonna be a little bit earlier so the gym should be a little bit more empty but it is a monday and usually mondays are you know people like to come on the come to the gym on mondays it's also december meaning the new year crew is going to start rolling in and it gets like kind of busy but we'll see it's going to be a good day i'm going to get a lot of work done today it's going to be a productive one it's going to be a good one also i haven't even updated you guys last night we went to a restaurant i hate how my stomach feels after eating out like i ate healthy when i ate out i had salmon and like mashed potato and corn so it wasn't like anything really bad but like of course like you never really know what's in the food and my stomach just never sits well after eating out and so yeah it was nice though i went with my aunt my brother my sisters and it was just a good time um and then i came back home and we found out that our laundry broke like the dryer and you guys know how i washed my sheets yesterday this always happens when i decide to put my sheets in the laundry every single time and so the dryer broke and my brothers and my dad blessed their hearts they took all the stuff to the laundromat they dried it they cleaned it they brought it back and so that's kind of what i've been working on um while i was gone or like after i made my matcha is just putting away all of my laundry also i've been seeing a lot of progress in just like my body and the way that my clothes fit and so yeah i'm happy i'm happy i love when the sun rises in my gym because we have like windows that go all around where the sun rises from and so like it just rises and it's just like shining into the gym oh, you guys it's the little things in life that just make me really happy clearly this week one of my biggest goals is to have like really clean and healthy meals i'm going out on sat saturday for my best friend's birthday dinner which i'm so excited to give her her gift you guys i can't even show you guys because she watches my vlogs but it's so good and so my goal this week is to really focus on my eating and my health so this will be like a little bit of a health vlog
this was my chosen office today. I've been sitting here since 10 a.m. It is currently three. Yeah, I haven't moved. I mean, I've gotten up, I've prayed, I've made a matcha, as you guys can see. But literally, literally, I've spent my entire day sitting here. Right when it gets dark out, I also get really tired. But today, we have a lot of work to do. Literally the most boring day ever because I'm just sitting on my computer um, working. So there's really not much happening. Tomorrow's gonna be a filming day. So today is just like work, 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 computer, computer. That's it. Let's make some lunch because I'm kind of hungry. Maybe get like, I could use like one of these like chip bag clips. This is the best we're gonna do. Let's look at the vegetable selection that we have. I was gonna say that I'm so flipping grateful for everything currently. Like everything in my life, I'm so grateful. And I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, you guys. I told you guys, every time I go through a hard time, a tough season, that good comes after every single time. And I knew it and I stayed patient and I reminded myself of that when I was going through it. Um, and here we are. It's meals like this that keep me so full and like it just feels good in my body like after having a meal like this I just feel good and that's how I want to feel when I eat like last night when we ate out I think I told you guys this this morning I just felt so awful this is straight violation I will see you guys a little bit later oh my goodness I just look stunning like this is it this is this is giving. This is where I've been kind of doing my work for the past like hour, I will say. Yeah, about an hour. Um, but I just saw this quote and it's so funny how I literally was, you know, talking about this earlier. Um, but Dan Ko, which is one of my favorite YouTubers ever, ever. I think he just like, I'm obsessed with him not necessarily with him but I, i'm obsessed with the way that he thinks and i'm obsessed with the way that he words things anyways you guys should definitely follow his instagram if you guys want like that inspiration motivation reminders um i think he's an incredible thinker and so he posted this today and it says most of your problems aren't problems they're a temporary emotional wave that normalize with time and that is so true that is so true and it's one of the greatest lessons that i feel like i've learned personally this year and i've talked about this a few times on my channel i even talked about this in my you're not lazy or how to get out of your lazy girl era video because i look crazy like what the heck you have like these moments where you have all these emotions um it feels like your life is falling apart or it feels like nothing that you're doing is working out and it seems like there's like all these problems that you have but in reality it's just like a wave and it goes away to cultivate patience in a tough time or in a hard time or when i'm going through challenges i remind myself number one good is going to come out of this Two, it is time for us to level up. There's something in this that we can learn from, that we can grow from. And then three, this is just a wave that is going to pass. It passes every single time. Sometimes it lasts longer than you want, but it's gonna pass. And when you have that sort of outlook, and it takes practice to have that sort of outlook, it, ha it takes practice to truly believe that and make that a belief um but when you set that intention then then i promise you guys then you will find all the good in it you find what you look for and so every single time where i've had a hardship i've been able to see the opportunity in it and grow from it and i know that but yeah i think it's just really i think it's incredible i think it's amazing also i just want to say that today I love how every time I make these annou announcements, I am looking crazy. 
this is just the top of it anyway um today we hit 30k here on youtube and so i just want to say thank you guys so much for all the love and all the support and all the comments and the messages and sometimes i get overwhelmed with you know responding to all the comments or responding to all the messages and i do try my best because i genuinely love to you know respond to you guys hear what you guys have to say yeah i'm just so grateful for you guys it is a blessing you guys have no idea you guys are literally my sisters for life we're like this yes um <laughs> it's already dark out we're gonna wrap up the night you know lighting some candles you guys know i love that like y'all know i love that and so it's just really been helping me cope with the fact that it gets dark really fast i will see you guys a little bit later if not i will see you guys tomorrow i'm gonna start winding down and just chilling for the rest of the evening reading a little book putting on a youtube video doing what i gotta do okay i love you good night good morning and happy tuesday hey hey you guys i love being up before the sun like something oh, it just makes me so happy um i haven't drank in any water yet though it's bad so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna like, get going to the gym because i have a lot to do today it's a filming day so i'm really excited and i want to do an hour of walking on the treadmill so we've got to get there we've got to get it done yeah also today is back and buys so it's gonna be a good workout i'm gonna get my banana these bananas are ripening so fast so i'm gonna make sure to eat one every day i have been loving my new morning routine i haven't shared it like in depth with you guys but i spend basically the first whole hour that i'm awake with god so i pray to hajjud and then it's like an hour in between to hajjud and fajr and so i just kind of sit there i reflect i make dua i do affirmations i think about i just literally sit and i pray for everything that i want in this life and in the next and that's just kind of how i've been spending the first hour that i'm awake and yeah now i'm gonna go to the gym um, and then I love that hour walk on the treadmill, just kind of like writing content ideas or doing any sort of work or listening to a like podcast. And so just spending like the first three hours that I'm awake doing that is just chef's kiss. It's been amazing. But yeah, I'm just trying to get hydrated quick. I didn't feel the need to do my matcha and lemon water because i did not eat anything last night the last thing i had was like that late lunch and it just kept me full throughout the entire night and so i feel great i feel amazing i feel like have like a lot of energy <laughs> okay we are gonna head to the gym and i will see you guys when we get there <laughs> hey besties i literally ditched you guys for the entire day i think the last time i saw you guys i was like okay let's go to the gym i'm gonna take you guys with me and then i just decided i was not gonna film in the gym because it just wasn't exciting it was a back and buys and walking day so i was like you know what i'm gonna vlog when i get home and here i am full face of makeup later full video filmed later talking about some hey guys i just got done filming a video and i'm really excited about this one it's a fun one like yeah it's kind of a fun one i haven't eaten anything since breakfast and for breakfast i had two fried eggs some avocado um and i still haven't even drank in my protein shake you guys when i start to film i get so passionate about the fact that i'm filming i get so excited that i don't eat at all um which is bad and i sweat a lot like i don't know when i'm on camera i sweat a lot which is probably gross it's not like i'm like anxious or anything it's just i don't know why i sweat it was a really good like quick little filming session i always think they're going to be quick and little but then it ends up taking me a long time and so also yes i am wearing my pajama pants mind your business okay this hijab I'm obsessed with. You guys know what I'm gonna do. Let me tell you what I'm gonna do. Inshallah, ya Allah, ya Rabb. 
talking about Ya Rab, it is past Asr time. Get me the heck off this camera. Okay, let's eat something. Right, you guys so I prayed Maghrib the Sun is setting I cleaned up my space because I had like the lights out I had the camera out it was just the mic it was a lot so I'm gonna take my makeup off and for the rest of the night I'm gonna be editing this video for you guys so that I can get it uploaded tomorrow and I have a lot of work to do tomorrow so I don't want to have to worry about editing at all but yeah I'm really happy with today I feel just like at ease and at peace when I genuinely do the thing that I'm very passionate about and I love and it gives me energy and so alhamdulillah I feel amazing I don't really talk to you guys today I don't feel like I think that very soon a video that I'm gonna do for this channel is definitely um, a Q&A but there's a few like health things that I want to kind of update you guys on um, as you guys know, like this week, my main intention was to eat healthy whole foods and that's literally what I've been doing and so I feel so good, I feel amazing, I am very proud of myself. I feel like every day, like I feel good, when I, when I eat I feel good. There's times where I don't feel too good and I just recently found out, well not recently, but I've been having some dairy lately because I've been just loving cheese. Not this week though, the, the week that I was on my period, I definitely had like a huge cheese craving this time around and so I let myself have some cheese, some cream cheese and so I'm breaking out on my forehead a little and here and that's because I have a daily dairy intolerance so I don't do well with dairy like my body does not break down lactose but I haven't always been and I found out that when you age like as a kid kids have an easy time digesting lactose however when you get older and you become an adult it's hard for you it's harder for you to break down that lactose in your body and that's literally me that is literally me i explode if i have ice cream um like my stomach just can't handle dairy and so we're definitely bringing it back doing a little bit of detoxing this week and by detoxing i mean just really eating raw foods um and then healthy cooked foods and that's it that's all and so i'm really happy with how that's been going i feel amazing and you guys know that of course this year i suffered from really really bad fatigue brain fog anxiety i had this crazy twitch in my eye from stress and god really finds a way to put you on pause and so that's kind of how what happened when i injured my foot is i had to physically slow down and then i realized how quick i was going how much i was rushing how little care i was taking care of myself and i'm just really happy at that i started my look good feel good era i'm so happy that i found out that i had h pylori and i started to work on my gut health like all these things that seem negative in the moment i'm just so thankful for and even i remember thinking in that moment like i'm so grateful for this i'm so grateful to finally know what was causing my fatigue what was causing my tiredness my constant like i couldn't focus and i thought what is wrong with me and i was like why can't i do this stuff why can't i you know be as productive as i want to be and i genuinely thought that it was me and i was being lazy but it was really just my body was telling me and signaling to me that i need your assistance like i need your help i'm not doing well and so i'm so beyond grateful like alhamdulillah that this year i've just been able to learn more about health and i've been able to learn more about my brain health and my gut health and the connection between them and really just start to focus on that and take care of myself because a lot of times we might think and like this is for you guys too if you guys have a lot of i talk a lot about mindset and you know being able to take control of your emotions and your thoughts and really get a grip on them but if you are not eating well your emotions have a direct connection to what you are eating the things that you eat can cause you to be angry frustrated mad even depressed and sad and 
it all is just because of the food that you're putting into your body and not being conscious of it and so if there's one thing that i can really 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 encourage you guys to do is to start to educate yourself on that and once i learned and i educated myself on it i think it was it's been a lot easier for me to eat healthier i don't want to put junk into my body i don't feel good when i put junk into my body and i know what it's like now to function from a place where i don't have any of these symptoms i don't have any of these you know things that i and i i feel energetic and i get good sleep and all of that and so now that i know what it's like i don't want to put junk into my body and if there's really one thing that i can inspire you guys to do for yourselves this week or it's it's really just eating better <laughs> eating better and learning about what you are putting into your body all of the processed foods is not food it's not food i used to have like cereal for breakfast and then a protein shake and like yogurt and um protein bars and all of these things they are not food and i've been able to switch over to eating actual like white meat chicken beef salmon tilapia like whatever i've been able to feed my body actual protein like actual food that gives me nutrition that gives me fuel and that gives me energy and it's just i've been seeing i've seen a huge improvement in my life i've seen a huge improvement in my performance and i feel so sad for myself when i was in this place where i thought like what is wrong with me why can't i do what i need to do and I was forcing myself and I was pushing myself and I was pushing myself and I was pushing myself, but I was tired, I was exhausted, I felt just dead. And that and then I had this like extreme twitch in my left eye for months, months, and it was because of that. And then on top of that working out, and then on top of that working, and it was just too much. And my body was telling me, like, Bahadur, you need to stop. And alhamdulillah for the experience that I've had this year. Um with health challenges and it's just been such a crazy year it was kind of like an awakening it was kind of like some hits you and then you realize and you wake up to the reality of it and now that we are awake to the reality of it it's hard to go back to sleep you know what i mean and so do what you gotta do do what you can to start to focus on your gut health yeah I love you. I'm gonna call it a night. I'm gonna get my makeup off. I'm gonna get to work, but I love you all so much and I will see you guys tomorrow. I guess I'm just gonna continue to vlog the week. I don't know where we're going with this, but good night. Hey guys, happy Thursday. I haven't vlogged in like, I think a day. I didn't vlog yesterday at all. Um, today's gonna be a work day, but to just get out of the house, to get some sunlight, I'm gonna be heading out to a coffee shop to get my work done today. I went to the gym this morning, of course, we never miss out on that. But I just feel like, man, because it gets dark out so fast, I have to change my environment in order for me to be <laughs> mentally sane.
Hey besties, so let me show you guys some of my favorite healthier cleaner snacks because this week I was doing my little gut reset. Um, I didn't buy any of these things when I went grocery shopping on Sunday only because yeah, it's clean ingredients. It's not that bad for you, but I was just trying to eat as much whole raw foods as I could. But I picked up some of my faves today. So let me show you guys. Number one is this popcorn. I absolutely love this popcorn. First of all, it tastes so good. Like this is my favorite evening snack. Let me tell you why this is so much better than like Skinny Pop or any other brand like that. Skinny Pop has sunflower oil in it, which is a highly, highly inflammatory oil. It causes inflammation in the body and it's just not that good for you. And this one is organic non-GMO popcorn, organic extra virgin coconut oil and Himalayan salt. And that's it. It's just so good. I love this popcorn. Yeah, this is three bucks. It's three dollars for this big bag, so it's not too shabby. I think Siete is a little bit more expensive. Yeah, Siete is about five dollars for this bag, so it is pricier than regular chips, but it's not as bad for you. So I would rather spend five bucks on a bag of chips than eat regular chips and spend a whole lot of money on my medical bills when I'm older, okay? So this one is amazing too because it literally just has cassava blend, which is cassava flour, cassava starch, avocado oil, coconut oil, chia seeds, and sea salt. That is it. Just really simple ingredients and it's so good with salsa. It's so good with guacamole. I'm obsessed. And then I've just been eating a lot of fruit. So I got some grapes blueberries back to human chocolates you guys i am fully aware that this has like lead in it but it's so good <laughs> which is so like backwards because i'm like oh we're gonna be healthy we're gonna be healthy and then i'm over here yeah we'll we'll figure that out another time i also got honey crisp apples because they are the best apples Ever. only thing i will say about olipop is it has natural flavors in it and then it has stevia leaf which both aren't that good for you but i just get this because my siblings like it i would rather them have this than soda i'm gonna put these away i'm gonna eat lunch which is kind of a late lunch i feel like i've just been eating late lunches all the time It really does not get more basic than this. A little OOTD, literally full black, full black, down to the fate. These blue light glasses are like an accessory at this point because I just be in them. Little scent of the day. Okay, so let me update you. First of all, hey, happy Friday. I woke up and I can't lie to you guys, I've been living like a pig. I've been living like an animal. And so I cleaned my space because it was actually disgusting. My siblings and I had a little game night down here. So it was a disaster. But I went to the gym this morning. I did like my whole monthly reset. I did some work this morning. And now I'm going to be picking up Aaliyah to go to the mall. We're both on a mission. Like I have things to return and I want to find a pair of jeans and... Um, like a top and tomorrow's her birthday dinner and she decided last minute she was gonna switch her outfit so we are on a mission to find a black dress for her yeah so that's kind of the plan for the evening i'm gonna get in my car because we gotta get gas and get my life together because right now we're not feeling very put together